Hello everyone, my name is Atish and topic of this learning video is application of matrices to solve differential equations. In the earlier classes we have seen the applications based on day to day life. Now in this learning video we will see the application of matrices to solve the differential equations. Obviously, the differential equations will be of ordinary type of differential equation. So, there are three methods to solve the differential equations with the help of matrices. Namely, matrix method, expansion method and Sylvester's theorem method. Now, as you can see, out of these three method, I have highlighted the matrix method. So, in this learning video, we'll see the matrix method to solve the differential equations. So, let us see the working rule, which is to be known in order to solve the problems. So, the very first step in the working rule says, write down the given equation in matrix form. Second step, find out eigenvalues, then find out eigenvectors, write down the model matrix and at last use the solution of matrix form to get the answer. Now let us take an example on this topic. So example number one says solve by matrix method d2x by dt square plus x equal to 0 given x of 0 is 0 and x dash of 0 is 0. These are known as the initial conditions which will be very helpful in finding out the arbitrary constants. So let us see the solution. So what is the first step? Do you remember? The first step of the working rule says write down the matrix form for the given equation. So we have this given equation d2x by dt square plus x is equal to 0. Now what we are going to do is to write down this matrix in the matrix form we have to first convert this equation of second order into two equations of first order. So for that we need a substitution. So I have written the given equation then let x is equal to alpha 1 this is nothing, these are nothing but the substitution in order to get the two equations of first order. Let x is equal to alpha 1 and dx by dt is equal to alpha 2. Okay. Now, equation 1 and uh, sorry, equation 2 and 3 are the substitutions. Now, using equation 2 and 3, what I can write? d dt of x, x is alpha 1. So, d dt of alpha 1 is alpha 2. Okay. Now, this can also be written as d dt of alpha 1 is equal to alpha 2 can also be written as d dt of alpha 1 is equal to 0 times alpha 1 plus 1 times alpha 2. Okay. Now, we are given that d2x by dt square plus x is equal to 0. That is the given equation. Now, you can make use of the substitution in this equation to get the another equation. Okay, so what I can do is I can just simply take this x to the left and write this equation or you can do it in the next step. You can write d2x by dt square as d dt of dx by dt plus x equal to 0. Now you can take uh, the values of dx by dt as alpha 2 and d and x as alpha 1. Now you can take this alpha 1 to the to the right and you can write this as d dt of alpha 2 is minus alpha 1. You can further write down this equation as d dt of alpha 2 is equal to minus 1 times alpha 1 plus 0 times alpha 2. Okay. So, we have this equation now. Okay. Now, we have equation 5 and we have equation 4 in the last slide. Okay. Now, we can write equation 4 and 5. With the help of equation 4 and 5, we can write down this given equation in matrix form as, as this. In the left hand side, we have d dt of alpha 1 and d dt of alpha 2. 
this is the coefficient matrix with coefficient 0 1 and for this equation 5 minus 1 0 and then operating on alpha 1 alpha 2 when you solve this equation you will be getting equation 4 and 5 that is reverse engineering now uh, if I if I uh, denote this vector alpha 1 by alpha, alpha 1 alpha 2 as capital X this coefficient matrix by A and this is again X so this system can be written as ddt of x is equal to ax so this is dx by dt is equal to ax and this is nothing but the matrix form this this uh, equation 6 and this uh, uh, equation about the equation number 6 are known as the matrix form of the given equation okay now uh, to get the desired solution we need to get the solution of this equation 6 in order to get the final answer so this equation can be easily solved by separating the variables dx upon x and this is a dt simply integrate to get the solution of equation number 6 so solution of equation 6 will gives you x is equal to b a e to the power lambda 1 t b e to the power lambda 2 t where what does this b represents do you remember this B represents a modal matrix. So let us find out modal matrix. And to get the modal matrix, what we need? We need to find out eigenvalues and then the eigenvectors. Okay. So let us first of all find out eigenvalues. Eigenvalues are given by the characteristic equation determinant of A minus lambda equal to 0. Okay. Now you are very uh, familiar with how to find out the eigenvalues. So this is A minus lambda I. Okay. Now solving this equation what I will get minus into minus plus lambda square minus minus plus 1. So lambda square plus 1 equal to 0. So what is lambda square? Lambda square equal to minus 1. So what is lambda plus minus under root of minus 1 and what is under root of minus 1? Iota. So let lambda 1 i and lambda 2 minus i. So this completes our equation uh, step number 2 of the working rule. Now for these eigenvalues, we'll find out eigenvectors. Okay, so as you can see here, the eigenvectors are sorry, eigenvalues are complex. So let us denote the eigenvector by capital Z. Let Z is equal to Z1, Z2 transpose be the eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda such that a minus lambda i z is equal to 0. Okay. So, this is a minus lambda is this, z stands for this, z1, z2 transpose means column vector equal to 0. Now, solve this first row, first column will give you minus lambda z1 plus z2 equal to 0. And the second equation will give you minus z1 minus lambda z2 equal to 0. Okay. So, these equations we are getting. Say this set of equations to be equation number A. Okay, now what we have to do, we have to find out the eigenvectors for eigenvalue lambda 1 and lambda 2. So, let us uh, solve this equation for lambda 1. So, for lambda 1 is i. So, for lambda 1 equal to i, equation 1 implies, simply put in place of lambda i, you get equation number 1 and 2. Now, you can just multiply equation 2 by minus sign to get z1 plus iz2 and you can multiply this equation by minus 1 upon i to get z1 plus iz2. So, both these equation 1 and 2 represent z1 plus iz2 equal to 0 or you can write this one as z1 is equal to minus of iz2. Okay. Now, you can easily find out. So, z1 upon minus i equal to z2 upon 1. Okay. So, what values we are getting? z1 as minus i and z2 as 1. So, for eigenvalue lambda equal to i, we have the first eigenvector z1 as minus i and 1. Likewise, you can find out the eigenvector for lambda equal to minus i. So, for lambda equal to minus i, going with the similar fashion, we will get z2 is equal to i and 1. So, this completes my step number 3. So, I got the eigenvectors and what is the matrix of eigenvector matrix of eigenvector is eigen uh, model matrix okay so we write model matrix as minus i1 i1 
okay now we can make use of the solution of matrix form in order to get the solution okay so solution of the matrix form was given by equation number seven we have seen it and that is x is equal to b a to the power lambda 1 t b to the power lambda 2 t so everything as it is just we have put it the value of modal matrix b now solve this when you solve this what will be getting alpha 1 equal to minus i into a e to the power lambda t plus i b e to the power lambda 2 t and what is this alpha 1 alpha 1 is nothing but our x in the very first step of the solution we have seen this okay and the second equation will gives you alpha 2 what is alpha 2 alpha 2 is dx by dt so dx by dt is equal to my, uh, a into 1 into a to the power lambda 1 t plus b e to the power lambda 2 t what is lambda 1 i and what is lambda 2 minus i okay so we have these two equations now what is our objective our objective is to get the values of these constants a and b and to get the values of this constant will make use of the initial conditions given in the problem i have stated earlier in the uh, question also that we are going to make use of these condition in order to get the constants arbitrary constants okay so when you apply these condition the first condition to equation 8 will get x is equal to 0 okay minus i as it is a as it is e to the power what is t t is 0 so t is 0 means e to the power 0 is 1 and similarly we'll put this value uh, x dash of 0 equal to 1 in equation 9 we will get the equation number 9 implies this okay now a equal to b and 1 equal to 2b so put a is equal to b or from this equation only you can get b is equal to 1 by 2 but b is equal to a so this implies a equal to b equal to 1 by 2 now putting these values in equation number 8 because we are given the problem in terms of problem in terms of dx by dt so my answer will be in terms of x okay so substituting the values of a and b in equation number 8 i will get what i will be getting x is equal to minus i by 2 e to the power i t plus i by 2 e to the power minus i t now you can take minus i by 2 common throughout so you will be getting what is remain remaining e to the power i t minus e to the power minus i t now do you remember what is it this is nothing but the formula for circular function of sine okay sine circular function which is 2i sin t now this 2 to get cancel iota into iota is minus 1 and this minus become plus so what is my final answer my final answer is x is equal to sin t and this is the answer we require okay so just we have seen uh, the problem on this topic now it's your turn to solve the problems based on this topic so we have a try this at home problem for you very typical example okay so these are the two examples that you need to uh, solve following the previous problem okay so thank you for watching this learning video enjoy learning mathematics thank you